I am a teacher librarian from Ontario, Canada. I work in a K-5 school in a suburban setting. Our school population is over 800 students, with approximately one-third of them being kindergarten students. For the duration of Phase 1 and 2, I worked with a Grade 4 class that was studying animals as a part of their science unit on habitats and communities. We started with this Natural Geographic resource as the Grade 4 science curriculum contains the big idea that changes to habitats, whether caused by natural or human means, can affect plants and animals and the relationships between them. The class had been previously engaged in an inquiry based on Canada's landform regions and were looking into the animals that lived in the regions. Their prior knowledge of the natural world helped them to engage. We used the learning framework to create guiding questions for our inquiry. As students researched animals from within Canada that were endangered, they started to look for reasons why an ecosystem had become unbalanced and why the animal's habitat was disappearing. We began to keep a mind map of all the ideas we had found. As our research progressed, students were able to layer in more sophisticated vocabulary and understanding about an ecosystem and how it becomes unbalanced. They were able to directly connect it to the animal in which they were researching. Students worked in pairs to create a drawing of the habitat of the animal they had researched. As we discussed how the ecosystem might become unbalanced, students began to make connections between the human world and the natural world. They questioned how human actions on a regional or global level might trickle down and affect an animal's habitat locally. To start off phase two, we explored a hyper doc of resources related to the global goals to learn more about the different perspectives involved with solving some of Earth's biggest problems. By examining the goals as a whole, students can begin to see the interleaving of the cultural, political, economic, and ecological perspectives. To start off phase two, we explored a hyper doc of resources related to the global goals to learn more about the different perspectives. Our final guiding question taken from the framework focused on communication as students would now transition to sharing their learning by creating their infographics.
These are a few examples of the student-created infographics with their goals for climate action.